Lord's service for this, the sixth Sunday of Trinity. And welcome to those from Tangmere and Hoving um, to come together virtually rather than joining us in our services. May the Lord be with you all. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven to bring us to eternal life. Let us therefore confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. <clears throat> Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who choose to repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all good and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you, that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. The first reading this Sunday comes from Psalm 86, verses 11 to 17. Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart, that I may fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the depths, from the realm of the dead. Arrogant foes are attacking me, O God. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. They have no regard for you. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Show your strength in behalf of your servant. Save me, because I serve you, just as my mother did. Give me a sign of your goodness, that my enemies may see it be put to shame. For you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat, and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? 
Where then did these weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. The slave said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? He replied, No, for in gathering the weeds you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow until the harvest, and at harvest time I will tell the reapers, Collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burnt, but gather the wheat into my barn. Jesus left the crowds and went into the house, and his disciples approached him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, and the good seed are the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are collected up and burned with fire, so it will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all evildoers. And they will throw them into the furnace of fire, where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Let anyone with ears listen. This is the Gospel of the Lord. We hear today another parable about plants planting seeds and what can happen to them. In today's Gospel reading, we hear of the enemies of the farmer planting weeds to choke the good seeds that were planted by the farmer. Jesus goes on to explain that this is like the evils that are around us all the time. And Jesus ends up with a joke. Not a very good one, I hasten to add, but a joke all the same. Let anyone who has ears listen. Such a good joke that Jesus used it twice. Once this week, and once last week in the parable of the sowers. Ears of corn, ears to listen with. Rolling in the aisles, I'm sure. But the other reading today, is from um, Psalm 86. Like many of the Psalms, the Psalmist is asking God to help him in times of trouble. There are enemies all around him, a band of ruffians who seek his life. I know that in society today we're unlikely to come across bands of ruffians or enemies who will seek our lives. But in society, we have seen bands of ruffians during lockdown who were sufficiently selfish not to consider others. It is those people who will refuse to wear face masks in shops, those who have been gathering for parties, those who generally don't care about others. But this is one of the key things that Jesus has asked us to do is to be the righteous ones. And even though there are unrighteous people around us, those bands of ruffians, Jesus expects us to continue to be righteous and to bear fruit. Sometimes I know it can be difficult. There are many, many temptations out there in the world. We have been brought up in a society where our own individual needs can sometimes seem to outweigh the needs of the many. I was listening to an interesting article on the radio the other day about face masks in Southeast Asia, particularly in Japan, where those people are not only do they expect to wear face masks, but they're doing it not just for themselves, but for the sake of others. And you stand out in the crowd if you're not wearing face, a face mask. And this is how we should live our lives. You know, we are the good seed. We are the seeds that Christ planted to grow and to multiply. And yet we do know that we're being choked by the weeds of the devil. 
And it takes something special to stand up and continue to do what is right. To continue to follow God's word and to do what he has commanded us. In the psalm, refer back to that psalm. We know, as the psalmist says, that God's love for us is with us always. No matter what we do, he will look after us. He is a merciful and gracious God. And we know that when Jesus was talking in the parable, when he sends his angels, he shall collect out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all evil doers. And we are expected then, as the righteous ones, to shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. This is what we are to expect and what is expected of us. So when we see ourselves and find ourselves in that field choked by the winds, let us remember the words of that psalm that encourage us that we can learn the way of Christ, that we can give thanks to God irrespective of what is going on around us. And we will know that we will be saved through the sacrifice of Christ Jesus on the cross. In the words of the Creed, <clears throat> we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten God of one being with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O oh God, creator of us all, we pray to you through your Son Jesus Christ with the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for our Church of St Andrew here in Oving and Tangmere and for all who work and worship here. We pray for Father Trevor as he ministers to us, for the church wardens, for the PCCs, the sidesmen, readers, flower arrangers, and all those who help to make this place somewhere where everyone can feel welcome and know that you are present. You have touched our little communities here and we are thankful for it. Please help us never to be exclusive or thoughtless in our attitude towards others and may our welcome always be what you would want. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our Queen and for all the royal family as they perform their duties to the country. Give them, and all those in authority, wisdom and strength. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for the world beyond our village and remember those who are touched by war, famine, fires and floods. We ask for understanding, wisdom and peace where there is now fear, hatred and war. And we ask for your resolve to encourage us to help others in need wherever we can. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today we especially pray for children who have just finished their term at school. For some it has been their last, last term at primary or secondary school. For others the extraordinary end to a school year. Please take care of them over the holiday and take away any fear or worry about new starts or returning to a school they have not attended physically for months. We pray for all the teachers who have learnt new skills very quickly and who have abandoned plans built on years of experience to start from scratch. Help them to be able to switch off for some time over the summer so they can start again refreshed in September. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick and in a moment of silence we pray especially for all those known to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died recently and we pray for their families and friends who grieve. We remember those whom we miss and we especially think of Jackie Tiley and Giles Hanton whose anniversary fall at this time and who were both such stalwart members of Oving Life. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. In fellowship with St Andrew, St Anne and all your saints, we ask for your blessing and say together, Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. spirit we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and build up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you, with saints and angels praising you and saying, Supper with his friends, and 
taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us into your loving arms, and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his Son. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The Body of Christ The Blood of Christ Let us pray. God of our pilgrimage, you have led us to the living water. Let us refresh and sustain us as we go forward on our journey. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. 
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.